Do 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 play castle. Play castle. Hi guys, welcome to Play Castle. Today we're taking a look at three of my collector's Barbies, which I got years and years ago. I couldn't even tell you exactly how long ago I got these Barbies. But one is uh, the Princess of Ireland, and she is from the Dolls of the World collection. The next one is the Swan Ballerina, and she is from Swan Lake, and she's from the Classic Ballet series. And the third one is my special pilot Barbie, which I don't think she's a collector's, but I still love her so much and I don't really want to take her out of the box. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the Barbies. So, first we'll take a look at the Swan Ballerina from Swan Lake. Let's take a look at the box. So, it says here... She's from, of course, I said before, the, cl the classic ballet series. And let's take a look at her face. She's so pretty. She's got the rooted eyelashes and dark brown hair that's styled. And she's got a really pretty white feathery kind of piece in her hair, which looks very pretty, especially with her outfit. She's dressed as the beautiful Swan Odette from Swan Lake. And there's her swan dress. Just looks so pretty. And she's even got a stand in the back. So if I ever want to take her out in the future, I can. I can stand her up and put her on display. And there's beautiful swans swimming in the background. And let's take a look at... Oh, at the side here it says contents, Barbie doll, ballet costume, ballet slippers doll stand and certificate of authenticity. Actually, let's look at her slippers. You see her little slippers down there? Really cool. I like the white ballet slippers. They look very nice and classic. Let's look at the back of the box here, it says. So Barbie as Swan Ballerina from Swan Lake. And there she is. And let's read the little blurb that's on the bottom of the box. It says, The lush spectacle Swan Lake is often called the most celebrated ballet of all time. The romance and beauty is captured in Barbie doll as Swan Ballerina, dressed in classic white ballet attire. Her costume features a shimmering tutu and a slim bodice embellished with a delicate applique that resembles feathers. Marabou feather armlets, sparkling white tights, and ballet slippers complete her swan-inspired ensemble. I love it. She is a very beautiful doll, and I'm very glad I have her. Now let's take a look at the next Barbie. Now, this doll is not a collector's, but I just thought she looked really pretty and unique with her short blonde hair. I really like her yellow uh, bob. I think it looks really, really cool. And I actually usually like to style my hair like that as well. And she's got on her pilot cap and her beautiful professional looking pilot outfit, her work uniform. And she's got her suitcase right there. There she is. She's just so pretty. Let's take a close-up look at her face. I just love her hair. Her hairstyle is so pretty. And let's look down here. Can we see her shoes? Not really. She's got just basic black um, shoes on. And in her hand, is that her passport? Let's see. Yep, it is Barbie's passport. She's holding her passport in her hand. And there's a little peekaboo window at the side, just like if she were on an airplane. Hi, Barbie, we can see you. And she was made, so this Barbie doll, I got her, I guess, in 1999. Let's take a look at the back of the box. Take off with Pilot Barbie. And there she is. I guess you could get a plane. A plane probably, like, you could buy that as an extra thing. 
to put her in. Yep, there it is. And of course, the plane is sold separately. It says each sold separately and subject to availability. Of course, dolls not included with plane. It says pilot wings for you. Punch out from inside of package. So if you're little, you can pretend to be a pilot with your pilot wings. Really, really super cool. And here is my favorite one of all, my favorite collector Barbie. I think she might have been the first collector Barbie that I've ever gotten before. And she is the princess of Ireland. And I have, actually I have Irish um, ancestors. So I have Ireland in my background. And I think that was one of the main reasons I was attracted to this doll. So let's take a look at her. She is from the Dolls of the World collection. She's got the beautiful red hair, which I love. I love dolls with red hair. I think it looks really pretty. And beautiful dark red lips. She's got the green dress, of course. She's Irish, so she's rocking the green. She's got a cloak, a very pretty dark green cloak with a brooch. I think it's the Terra brooch. And in the background is an Irish castle. I love her dress, it is so beautiful. And look at her belt, she's got a little belt with some Irish symbols that we're gonna check out. So let's turn the box around. Oh, my pony sticker is sticking to it. (laughs) Um, So it says here, Princess of Ireland, Barbie. Many years ago on the misty islands of the European continent, a noble race of people known as the Celts inhabited the land. Their customs were diverse since they came from different tribes and their properties were divided into many kingdoms. In one such kingdom called Ireland, a beautiful princess stands gazing at the lush rolling green hills that surround her. The sun flickers through a strand of hair that brushes against her eye and for a second she thinks she sees a woodland spirit frolicking in the meadow near the woods. Many Celtic people believed that fairies and angels lived in the surrounding forests. In the center of the meadow is an ancient stone circle. Stone circles were thought to have been constructed by ancient tribes for religious ceremonies. Although the princess would like to visit the stone circle, she must now return to the castle where a festival is about to take place. Special stories will be recited in Gaelic, one of Ireland's ancient languages that is still used today by the royal bards who were the singing poets of ancient Celtic times. But the highlight, where am I? The highlight of the evening will be when the princess is presented with a magnificent Terra brooch, a very famous bejeweled pin thought to have been worn by Celtic royalty in honor of her coming of age. Today, the wonder and glory of the Celtic people still reigns over the art, jewelry, and folklore of Ireland. Celtic treasures consisting of jeweled weapons, armor, and manuscripts reveal an incredibly artistic and accomplished culture. Modern-day shops are brimming with exquisite Celtic artistry and mesmerizing tales of the old world. Princess of Ireland Barbie, Barbie doll. Princess of Ireland Barbie doll majestically reflects the rich green color of her isle country draped in a shimmering green gown that features a regal pattern inspired by ancient Celtic colors and designs. At her waist, she wears a half belt with three medallions imprinted with Celtic inspired art. Her gorgeous flowing red hair serves as the perfect backdrop for her lush green velvety cloak that is adorned with a golden brooch reminiscent of the beautiful Terra brooch. A golden crown on her head makes the perfect young monarch in waiting. And there she is right there in the box. And she's actually standing with a couple of other dolls that are from this collection, which is the Princess of China and the Princess of the Nile. Both of those dolls are beautiful. Let's see. 
So here it just says the contents contain small parts, not for little children or toddlers. This is more a collector's Barbie that you wouldn't really want to take out of the box. And she was made, let's see, where's the date? 2001 and there she is my beautiful princess of Ireland Barbie all right guys well thanks for watching and if you love Barbies as much as I do give this video a big thumbs up we'll see you next time bye guys